Are you having a hard time figuring out how to copy your pages and posts in WordPress? Whether you're testing out a new website design, creating mock-up pages, or you just want to reuse some of the content on a previously created page, knowing how to create a copy will save you a great deal of time. My name is Daniel from Envato Tuts Plus, and in this tutorial, I'll go over two ways that you can copy your pages or posts with and without the use of a WordPress plugin. The first method will be using the Yoast Duplicate Post plugin. We'll go over how to install the plugin, how to configure the plugin so it copies the pages or posts exactly how you would like, and then how to actually duplicate the post. For the second method of duplicating posts and pages, we will be using the built-in features in WordPress's block editor, Gutenberg. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to copy any of your pages or posts quickly and easily. If you are looking to create a fully featured and professional WordPress website, then Code Canyon is the number one marketplace for you to find the highest quality WordPress plugins available. These plugins can help you add the functionality needed to reach your business's goals. You will find a massive library of over 7,000 other premium WordPress plugins that are sure to take your site to the next level. WordPress is a powerful CMS platform that has tons of high quality plugins that you can add to your site. WordPress is said to have a plugin for everything. And in the case of duplicating your posts and pages, there is a great plugin called Yoast Duplicate Post that we can use. Let's start by installing the plugin. Head on over to the plugin sidebar and choose add new. From there, we're going to go on over to the search plugins field and type in Yoast Duplicate Plugin. Then click on the install now button and then click on the blue activate button. And now the plugin is activated on our website. Before we go over how you can duplicate your pages or posts, let's take a look at the plugin settings so you can see the options available to you on how the plugin duplicates your posts. Navigate to the left sidebar settings and then go down to duplicate post and click that option. Here the duplicate post options will be displayed in three tabs. There are often three settings you'll want to adjust in order to have this plugin running efficiently for you. The first option is in the What to Copy tab. When duplicating a web page, you'll often want to copy more than just the text. You can use Duplicate Post to copy a web page's featured image, author, title, and everything else in this list. Be sure to choose all the options that apply to your particular pages and posts. In our case, there is only one author on our site, so I will select the Author checkbox. And now the author will get copied for every post and page that we duplicate. Be sure to go to the bottom of the page and click Save Changes. Another setting you'll want to adjust is the title prefix. By default, a duplicate post clones your post and creates a copy with exactly the same title as the original page or post. You'll definitely want to clearly distinguish your copied post from the original post, so you don't end up editing the wrong one. In order to prevent any confusion, you'll want to type in a prefix word or words that will automatically be added to your duplicate posts or pages. At the bottom of the What to Copy tab, look for the Title Prefix field and type in Copy, and then save these changes once again. And now every page or post will have the word Copy before the title. And then the third setting that you'll want to adjust is the Permissions. We'll go ahead and click the Permissions tab. This will only apply to you if you have multiple people that access your site. Choose the Permissions tab and in the Roles Allowed to Copy section, you'll see all of the roles available and you can click which roles you want to be able to use this plugin. We'll go ahead and click Author here again and click Save Changes. Now that we have the plugin settings updated, we can duplicate our page or post. In our example, we're going to duplicate a post. We'll do this by choosing the Post option and then All Posts. Under each post, you should now see two options, Clone and New Draft. The Clone option duplicates your page or post but doesn't open this duplicate in the editor. The new draft option creates a duplicate page or post and opens it in the WordPress editor. So we'll try out both these options here. We'll click the clone and you can see we have a copy Yoga Studio and it'll be the copy of our Yoga Studio post. And then we'll go ahead and click new draft. And this opens up the Gutenberg block editor. In addition to duplicating your posts and pages in this manner, there are also other sections where you can duplicate your post. One very handy area for duplicating your posts is in the WordPress editor. This can be very useful when you're working on an article and you know you need to duplicate the page or post. So let's navigate to one of our posts here. We'll click edit. And then if we look under the status and visibility accordion here, you'll see there's a copy to a new draft option available that we can use to copy this post. 
Another great feature of this plugin is to copy content in bulk. Let's say you are working on a redesign of your site and want to copy all of your current content just in case the redesign goes horribly wrong. So here we're going to duplicate certain pages. First, we'll select all the pages that we want to duplicate. And then we'll open the bulk actions menu and choose the clone option and then click apply. As you can see, we now have our copied pages at the top here and you're ready to edit them as you like. While WordPress plugins are incredibly useful, they can sometimes slow down your website if you have too many of them active. Thankfully, there is a way to duplicate your pages and posts without having to install a plugin. You won't get the one-click cloning provided by the duplicate post plugin, but this may be a viable option if you only need to duplicate the occasional page or post. The Gutenberg block editor allows you to copy a page or post's entire content with a single click ready to paste into another web page. This method will only copy the web page's main body content and not any associated content or information such as categories, tags, or featured images. So you'll have to make these changes manually. So to create a copy, we'll open a page here. We'll navigate to pages on the left side menu and choose all pages. Then we'll open up one page and click edit. Then we'll navigate to the three dots at the top right corner of the Gutenberg editor and choose the option, copy all content. We'll then go back to our pages and choose add new and title it sample page extended. And then finally paste the content onto the web page. We'll right click and choose paste. As you can see, this was all the content from the sample page. Again, you'll manually need to add any missing content or information such as the title, featured image, and any tags that you want to use. And you can do this by choosing the page option and then adjusting the settings on the right-hand side. So these are the two various methods for how you can create duplicate pages and posts within your WordPress site by either using the Yoast duplicate plugin or using WordPress's standard Gutenberg block editor. You can quickly and easily duplicate your posts and their metadata associated with them. Thank you so much for checking out this video, everyone. If you like this little tutorial and would like to see more, be sure to subscribe to the Vato Tuts Plus YouTube channel. If you are looking to learn even more, why not check out some of the other excellent tutorials that Envato Tuts Plus has to offer. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you next time.